Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Great rising to you on this beautiful Good Friday. It's LaShonda Henry here, aka Sister Sense, and I am jumping on to share five great things you can do to grow your business online today. Hey, Decadent Butters, hello, hello. I'm actually jumping on on two different platforms. Right now I'm looking at Facebook Live and over here I'm looking at Periscope. So uh, this is gonna be interesting. I haven't done one of these dual live sessions in a minute. So if you are interested in growing your business today in some way, drop GB into the comment box for me, okay? So if you're interested in growing your business in some way, drop GB into the comment box for me for grow business, okay? Grow your business or GYB. Would you, I think GYB would be better, grow your business. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's do that again. Let's do that again. If you're interested in growing your business today in some way, either drop GB or GYB for grow your business into the comment box. And if you feel like this is something that somebody in your circle needs to hear, feel free to either tag them or share, 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 because of course, sharing is caring. This is a Good Friday kind of a conversation. So uh, good morning to you guys. Good Friday to you guys. Good vibes only. My goal is to share some things that you can do to strategically work on your money marketing and sales goals as part of my Sister Sense experience. Hey, Misty from Texas. Awesome, awesome to have you here. Thank you guys for joining in. I know that you guys have a lot of good, good to do this good morning. So I'm going to dive into the session right away. Okay. So I'm going to share five five things for you to consider to do today to grow your business in some way. The first one is ask, A-S-K. I'm always telling you guys, be very clear, get your A-S-K, get your ask in gear, <laughs> right? So you should be proactively engaging your audience and asking the right questions. So I'm gonna give you one ask that you can consider. Right now, by the way, just a side note, I'm doing my jump 30 day marketing challenge. And the ladies that are in the challenge, if they're in day 19, this is one of the three ASK ask questions that I say, ask your people this question today, okay? Ask, are you still interested? Are you still interested? Hey, Carla, hello, hey, Rhonda, hey, LaVon, hey, Adonia. Good morning, good morning, good morning, my dears. Ask the question, are you still interested? Thank you so much, Carla, for tweeting this out. Feel free to share uh, and tag somebody who needs to hear this. So what does that mean? Um, I am currently in the process of transitioning over from a few things that I've wrapped up, like I had my North Carolina weekend workshop last weekend. Now I'm getting ready for the bestseller boot camp. The first cycle is happening the first of next month. And so uh, one of the things that I did was this week, I sent out an email to my audience and I said, listen, are you still interested in the bestseller bootcamp? You can register until Friday and get early registration 40% off at sistersense.com forward slash BSBC. As a matter of fact, somebody dropped that into the comment box for me. Sistersense.com forward slash BSBC. It's an opportunity for entrepreneurs to, number one, start working on their next bestsellers for the quarter, whether it be digital, physical, principal products, or service packages. And then also I'm talking about smart passive income and sales. It's a 90-day, 12-week experience. So I said, listen, if you want to early register, that today's the last day, right? Are you still interested? So I I want you to think about some of the offers that you've got for the folks in your circle and share that question. Reach out, touch them, ask them, are you still interested? Okay. And again, if you're curious about my best seller boot camp, feel free to go over to sissensense.com forward slash BSBC for best seller boot camp. Okay. So that's the first thing. One thing that you can do to grow your business is be proactive about asking questions. Get your ASK, get your ask in gear. One question that I wanted to share today is, are you still interested? Okay. So think about that. Think about some of the offers that you've got going on in your business and how can you use that question today? That was number one. Number two. Okay. Number Q, <laughs> I said, I was going to say Q, I don't know why. <laughs> Number two is RRP, RRP. I want you to share one of the following, okay? Results, reviews, proof, okay? So that's RRP, results, reviews, proof, okay? Think about what your offers are, and I want you to share one of the following. 
results, okay? Can you share in some way the kind of results that you can provide to your audience? Well, what does that mean? Um, well, I was doing my weekend workshop and in the middle of that, as part of the weekend workshop that I did this past weekend here in Greenville, North Carolina, we did a few client testimonial videos so that I could show some of the results, some of the things that we were working on together as part of that experience. I call those marketing moments, right? Um, I also am working working on several projects, several web projects, because I'm a web designer. So I always screenshot the before, especially when I'm doing redesigns, the before and the after, so I can share the results and say, hey, these are some of the things that I've done for clients. If you would like me to build a website for you, this is what you can expect, okay? So I want you to think about the business that you are in, right? And I want you to be able to share. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Sonia Michelle. Please share. I want you to be able to share either a result, a review, or proof, okay? Proof that you're doing what you say that you're doing and you're getting people results, okay? So um, I definitely am excited about posting some of those videos from the weekend workshop. That's number one. Uh, number two, what kind of proof can you show to people that you're doing what you're doing, right? And you're saying what you're about. I love the proof plugins that I'm seeing a lot of people using in their marketing. One of them is actually called Social Proof, um, where you can literally show as people are purchasing products from your website, you can show, oh, a minute ago, an hour ago, 15 minutes ago, somebody purchased in North Carolina, in Texas, in Atlanta, wherever, right? Some sort of way for you to give people examples of your results, right? Reviews and proof, okay? Really, really important. So I want you to think about that for today. What kind of results, reviews, and proof can you share with your audience, okay? Now, let me go into reviews for a second because this is a big one, Such so much so that I wanted to kind of give it its own little category. Um, when I talk about reviews, it's kind of twofold. Um, number one, being in a space where you can think about some of the things that you use and you can share reviews with people on those things, okay? What does that mean? Okay, well, right now I am digging into what I love. It's called Deadline Funnels. It allows you to put countdown count, uh, countdown timers on your sales pages so people can see how long they have before that particular offer goes up or goes away, okay? Um, and if you're curious about Deadline Funnels, you can write down sussesense.com forward slash DF. My apologies, scopers. I keep looking this way. <laughs> I'm not looking this way as much. Sissons.com forward slash DF, which stands for Deadline Funnels. You can go there and take a look and either sign up for it, right? So think about the different tools that you use in your business, the different processes that you have in your business. Review them for people. Think about how often you go on Google and you're like, has somebody tried this? What do you think about that? Does XYZ work? People are looking for that information. You want more people to look for you, then you need to be posting reviews too, okay? So if you can post at least one review today and share something about something that you've been using in some way, that's gonna be a way for you to grow your business and get some attention, get some eyes on you, okay? So think about that, the three R's, well, the two R's and the P, results, reviews, and proof, okay? Those are really, really important. Now, there's a flip side to reviews that I want you to think about, okay? And I'm gonna share the flip side to reviews that I want you to think about, and Scopers, I'm gonna be dropping off here so I can focus on sharing these strategies on the Facebook Live platform. So if you wanna watch the full web class, meet me on facebook.com forward slash scissor sense or catch the replays on YouTube, okay? Um, but okay, let's go back into the conversation, the good good that I'm sharing here. Um, the other side of reviews, and you wanna grow your business, people need to see that other people are working with you. One of the things I love about the Facebook page platform, one of the updates that I've recently been looking at and, and taking notice of more often is the review feature on Facebook, where literally people can go in there and share their thoughts about you and they can, you know, five star you and say, hey, I like this particular person and this is why, right? So you can take a look at my reviews thus far over on facebook.com 
forward slash sister sense. And then you can see some of the reviews. They should be close to the top of the page. So one of the things that I've been doing to strategically and intentionally grow the business is as I'm working with clients one on one, I'm saying, hey, uh, if you would love to or if you've got a minute, please feel free to share some feedback with me. Um, I would love to know what you thought about either the web services or the clarity calls, what you've gotten from it. And while it's fresh on your mind, please feel free to go here on the Facebook page and post a review. OK, you want to grow your business. People want to see what people are saying about you. OK, and that's a really, really big one. So, OK, here's the deal. I'm going to jump on over to Facebook focus live. Should I do that or should I stay on here? <laughs> Should I stay on here? Um, I, I, I love doing the duels, you know, doing Periscope and doing Facebook. Um, I do have to drop off of here because Instagram, IGTV only gives me 10 minutes. So I got to stop the Periscope, but I'm going to continue on Facebook Live. Meet me guys over there um, and I'll see you there in a second, all right? Catch the replay on YouTube and also catch the replay on Facebook at Sister Sense. Mwah! See you guys in a bit. All righty. Full focus, Facebook. So first thing that we've talked about today is number one, ASK, get your ask in gear. Somebody feel free to drop that in here. Um, and now that I've drum dropped off of Periscope, I can actually jump on to my, I can actually jump on to my Facebook page and see what you guys are saying over here. So let me see if I can pull up the live stream here. Um, ask. ASK, get your ask in gear. Can you think of one question? Are you still interested question that you can share with your audience? And if you can think of a question and a link to that particular offer, feel free to think about it and drop it into the comment box, right? So when I said ASK, get your ask in gear, my question is, hey, are you still interested in the bestseller bootcamp? The first cycle begins in a few days. We've got eight days left to register. Make sure you go to sensesense.com forward slash BSBC to learn more about it so that I can help you create some new great products this coming quarter and also talk about some smart passive income strategies and getting better at sales. One, two, three, join me inside of the bestseller bootcamp. Are you still interested? So use that question. Are you still interested? Come up with a question you can ask your audience, get your ASK in gear. That's one way you can grow your business today. That was the first thing that I shared today. Okay. And number two, I talked to you guys about sharing RRP. One, either results. What are some results you're getting for your customers and clients that you can share? Number two, proof. What proof can you share with people that people are buying, trying, working with you? And number three, reviews. Can you review something that you're working on right now or some tools that you're using? Because people are always looking for people who can tell them how to better use something, right? A great example of that, a few weeks ago, I talked about some smart marketing strategies and I brought up the Wish app. I said to you guys, listen, I've had the Wish app on my phone for many, many moons now. <laughs> And I've not really used it for buying clothes because I've had a lot of like people say, yay. And then a lot of people said, nay. And I'm like, these are so cute. I want to get it on the Wish app. Um, and so I've been like binging YouTube videos of people who have like, have you used that app yet? Have you used this? Because people want to be smart when they spend their money. So think about that. What are some kind of tools or resources or even books that you are using in your industry that you can review? I see my girl Adonia in the building and we've been talking about some great books, right? To review that people are really looking for insight around and they would come to you if you would be the person to be sure sharing those reviews, okay? So, okay, we're gonna dig into the next one for this session for today. But how do I, how do I do this? I'm trying to, I'm trying to see your comments in my Facebook. Okay, I think I figured it out. I think, I think. Full focus, Facebook. So okay, today, so I'm here. I how do I do this? I'm trying I to, can hear my voice. I'm trying to see your comments. <laughs> oh, okay. So let me take that off the okay. tripod so I can turn down the volume on this thing. I've got, um, I haven't been on for a few days. I had my big ring light and uh, my hubby needs to set it up for me. So I've been like, set up the doggone ring light. Um, and then I remembered I have a small ring light, a duh, <laughs> that I can use. Let me see if I can. 
tilt it so you guys can see it. Here's the small ring light. And I was like, LaShonda, you know how to use that one. Go get that one. <laughs> Sometimes the, the most common sense thing for you to do, you know, you're thinking of the harder solution, right? Like, go set up the big ring light. And I've got a little one that I can clamp on my desk. Uh, no. So anyway, let's dig into the next thing that I want to share with you for today. So we talked about the ask, we talked about sharing, we talked about reviews. Let's talk about give, 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 okay? I love this one. Um, okay, so what I want you to do today is I want to think about, I want, I want you to think about one good good that you can give this Good Friday. I love the fact that it's Good Friday. So think about one good good that you can give, okay? Um, some of you have some amazing freebie offers, some amazing lead magnets, and they're sitting there. And I want you to talk about it today. Think about one awesome lead magnet that you can pull from your archives and talk about today, okay? So I am working on these weekly web classes for you guys on Facebook Live and then a couple on Periscope and IGTV and all that good, good. And so I've created a page. It's assistance.com forward slash WWC, which stands for weekly web class where you can watch some great replays. You can all also even sign up absolutely free over at assistance.com forward slash WWC. You can sign up for my weekly web class series. And then of course, learn about some resources that I have to share for you over there, right? So I want you to think about at least one good thing that you've got some free lead magnet offer that's kind of just sitting there that you can share proactively in some way today. You can tweet about it. You can email your folks about it. You can do a live stream about it, whatever you want to do to share that good good with your community. Okay, so feel free, like I said, if you've got something totally awesome that you have in your archive and you want to share it, feel free to drop it in here because maybe somebody in my circle, our power circle, should have that good good today. Okay, so that's number, I don't even know what number I'm on. <laughs> I don't even know what number I'm on, but that's the good. That's the, the give them some good, good solution, okay? Misty, give one good, good you can give. Awesome, awesome. Misty says, you gave me a great idea. I can review the magic of tidying up. Awesome, I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this right now. Feel free to share it out because, of course, sharing is caring. Um, okay, so I am going to continue this conversation with you. Okay, so there's two that I have underneath get, okay? Um, okay, so let's talk about get. So we've talked about asking and sharing and giving. Let's talk about getting, okay? Now, the first thing that I want you to consider is to get the ball rolling, okay? So get, get the ball rolling, okay? What does that mean? Um, the, there are probably some things that you need to be working on, some things that you need to be releasing, some things that you need to get done, and it hasn't happened yet. So I want you to think about, I want you to think about one thing that you can do to get that ball rolling, okay? So I'm going to give you an example of that. Do, 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 do. So um, I'm working on some of my new brand offers, and I don't know if you can see it. The glow up is real. Oh, man, the glow up is, oh, yeah, because I have the plastic on. Uh, duh. Uh, so one of my fabulous clients, Rhonda, she drew this beautiful picture of me and my little Prinaman, my little puppy Prinaman, and um, gave it to me as a gift. She also gave me the image. Okay, so I'm really sucking at this. Let me try and see if, if I can use, uh, do I have a scissors beside me? I do have a pen, so uh, not a pen, but a pen. Um, perfect. That should work. So I've been trying to think of all of these cool things that I can do with these beautiful images that she's created for me. Um, and here I've created, these are actually magnets. So I ordered my magnets from Sticker Mule. Um, hold on, let me see if I can block the ring light for a second so I can share that with you. Can you see it a little bit better? Yeah, you can see it a little bit better now. With me and Printamint, excuse me, Printamint. Thank you so much again, Rhonda. You know I love these, yes! <laughs> So I've been working on some different ways to have fun with these. Um, and I got these magnets from one of my favorite companies, Sticker Mule. Um, and I ordered these, I want to say maybe about a week ago. 
and they came today. And then I also ordered the sticker version. So I've got the magnet version and the sticker version. I love Sticker Mule, guys, for creating brand products. These are the sticker version. These are clear. I've got some things that I'm going to be putting these on, so I'm excited. Uh, and this is the magnet version. You can slap on things or use them as promotional items. I've got some different things going on. I'm thinking about using these for. I also have the Sense Good Good Buttons. How do I not have the good, good buttons in my hand right now? How is that even possible? Um, and I got those a couple of weeks ago. So I want you guys to get the ball rolling. Number one, identify. Oh, yay, Rhonda's still here. Yes, love it. Awesome. Rhonda is so amazing. Love, love, love her to death. So glad that she's actually here on the live. Yay. <laughs> Proof that the people that I talk about are real. <laughs> I said to you guys, one of the things that you want to work on, right, is sharing results, reviews, and proof, right? It's always great when I drop names of people and they can be actually be present. So I'm like, I'm not making this up. These are people who I work with. I didn't draw these. <laughs> proof. Um, Rhonda says, I'm working on a set of self-care stickers to offer on Etsy, and I'll keep you posted. Awesome. Good, 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 good. Guys, listen, I absolutely love Sticker Mule. So just as a side note, if you're curious about putting together some brand stickers or coasters or buttons or labels, or, they have so much stuff, it's not even funny. Go to sissasense.com forward slash SM10. That's going to give you a $10 credit from me to you so that you can create some awesome sticker mule content too for your brand. Hopefully you had an opportunity to watch the replay that I did on how to make your brand products pop, right? Um, I did that a couple of days ago when I was inside of my weekend workshop here in North Carolina. Uh, hopefully you had an opportunity to watch that, but if you didn't get the replays, again, this is about getting, get the ball rolling. So what I want you to identify for yourself is what are some things that you should be having um, getting done and getting working in the process because once... Once I had gotten these and then uh, from Rhonda and then I put them on the magnets, I had to wait, you know, a week plus, a little over a week or so. Um, they're pretty fast. I think it was about a week, just about, for them to come to me, right? And sometimes I get clients who say, LaShonda, I have an event happening next week and I'm not ready for it. I feel like if there's certain things that you want to happen in your business, if you want to grow in your business, you should have like a funnel. So I've got a few things that I've ordered and I have these boxes coming in. My, my Even my son, he ordered some stuff. He's going to be doing some unboxing on his little YouTube channel. And he's like, mommy, it's here. <laughs> um, you know, get those things ready and shipped out to you so that you're not like, like last minute spending way too much money to rush order things that you should have gotten already, okay? So hopefully that inspires and motivates some of you guys to think about a few things that you should be putting into your pipeline. Get the ball rolling. I think Misty, thank you so much, was like, okay, that's number four, get the ball rolling, okay? Um, so I want you to think about that. What are some, some balls that you need to be rolling <laughs> right now? Okay, so this is the second side of get that I want you to think about, okay? So this is going to be number five, the last one that we're going to talk about today, which is I need you to, if you want to grow your business, you need to get in front of more people. Hello, right? You need to get in front of more people so that you are in a space where you're not just talking to the same people all the time or you're not just talking to yourself, but other people are in a space where they are connected to you. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, good morning. So good to have you here. So what does that look like? How can you do that? I'm going to share a few recommendations with you. Um, now, first and foremost, this get in front of more people is actually connected to a few of the things that I recently said to you, right? One of those things was, to get your ask in gear, are you still interested? You can use that as, as a get in front of more people if you work it the right way. So I said to you, my are you still interested that I shared out with my community via email marketing this week is I said, listen, my bestseller bootcamp is happening. Do you want to create new products? Do you want to work on your sales? Do you want to work on smart passive income? You can early register, but early registration ends Today, it's the last day to get early registration, 40% off the bestseller bootcamp over at sysassistance.com forward slash BSBC. Are you still interested? That was my get your ASK, get your ask in gear, right? How do you get in front of more people? You say, hey, look, are you interested in doing this with a bestie? 
Are you interested? Okay, well here, I've got an affiliate program for the bestseller bootcamp. I've got an opportunity for you to get $65, $65 commission for every person who registers through you. Not only can you join the bootcamp, do it with the bestie, do it with a couple of friends, make it a thing, right? That's an opportunity for you to reach more people. Now I'm doing it via my affiliate program. Think about how you can do that, right? Whether you partner with somebody or before I had an affiliate program as part of my sales e-commerce tools selection. So one of my sales platforms that I absolutely love has the ability for you to create your own affiliate programs. And I'm like, yes, I'm using it all the time, like on steroids, right? Maybe you don't have that yet. It's okay. Before I had that, I would actually partner with people and say, okay, hey, hey, Kim, can we partner? Okay, I'm going to give people your affiliate coupon code and they're going to get X percentage off and I'm just going to use your name. So I'll use Kim and then they use the code Kim and I'll know that because they use the code Kim, they came through you and I will give the percentage to you that we agreed upon. That is to me the simplest affiliates marketing strategy that you can use. There's a little bit of manual in there, but who cares? You're partnering with somebody so that you can get in front of more people. <laughs> All right. So that's a smart way to do it. I mean, if you've got a platform where you sell your stuff on that allows you to create an affiliate program even better. But if you don't, that's a simple affiliate program partnering strategy that you can consider. OK, just simply creating coupon codes with the name of the individual people that you're partnering with so that when people use that coupon code, you can track it based on the code they're using. It's the name of the person that they were sent from. OK, that's the easiest thing to do. Uh, Misty says, I am a part of your affiliate program. Awesome. The Bestseller Bootcamp has an affiliate program as well. So make sure that if you want to promote that, it's $65 per person that signs up through you. If you want to do it by yourself, great. Early registration ends today, but of course you can sign up and do it with a friend. And that's a great way to reach people who are connected to the people who like working with you, right? Word of mouth marketing. Hello, that's one of the best ways to promote other people and have other people promote you. So who's talking about you? You gotta be aware of that. And I always share that, making sure you're proactive about letting, uh, understanding who's talking about you, okay? So getting in front of more people, what does that look like? Hey, good morning, good morning, Faye. Good morning, my dear. Good morning, good morning. Um, I love that I see Faye here because I think you're like a great example of getting in front of more people. Um, Faye is a career coach. She's amazing at what she does. She helps professionals on so many levels up-level themselves. And one of the things that she specializes in, LinkedIn marketing and how you can utilize LinkedIn more. It's like this big, like even though LinkedIn has been around for a while, like a lot of people are really revving up their efforts when it comes to LinkedIn. Um, and I think about Faye because I recently saw a beautiful picture of her and she was speaking at an engagement, right? What better way to get in front of more people than to get your butt out of your couch, right? Out of your seat, out of your office, out of where you are and to go out and reach more people, right? So I want you to think about that. How can you grow your business by getting into a space where you're speaking in front of other people's audiences. I mean, there are just so many ways to do that. There's a young lady and she's doing um, an interview series on uh, entrepreneurial women and she asked me to be a part of that. She's like, Lashana, can you answer these questions? Great, thanks. Um, you know, I've done Facebook Lives. I've, you know, taught sessions live going out to events in DC and Atlanta, in Virginia. I mean, in here in North Carolina, I've gone to different events to get in front of people, right? Or even virtual opportunities. I've done a few Facebook lives where I'm in front of people um, because they're new to me because I'm on somebody else's platform. So how can you grow your business by getting in front of people today? And that could be you reaching out to somebody and saying, hey, I would love to be a part of your event. I'm throwing my hand in the hat in the ring so I could be one of your speakers. What do I need to do to come out, show up and have a great time and share my information with your audience? And then again, that's not just a physical thing, but also a virtual thing too. You can certainly do audio interviews, written interviews, or just jump on your own doggone live stream. You know, it's so funny because this morning, um, before I was jumping on here to do this live with you guys, I posted posted a video of Tia Maori. Who watches Tia's Facebook series? I love them. I love watching her. She's just so awesome. You know, I, I love smart guy. You know, I love smart guy. I love sister, sister. I love watching them as actors and actresses. It's so amazing to see these 
these amazing beings who they're not just in a space where they're waiting from somebody else to give them a new opportunity. They're creating their own opportunities, right? So Tia has her series. Um, Jada Pinkett has her red plate, red table talks. I, I want to say red plate because <laughs> my kid does red plate lunches at school. Um, but you've got to create your own content, right? So she did a throwback where she showed an interview uh, as you working with or rather talking to Lily Singh, who is Superwoman, she makes millions of dollars creating the best, funniest, amazing content on YouTube. Everybody know Lily Singe? If you don't know, you got to know L-I-L-L-Y-S-I-N-G-H. You got to check her out. She is Lily, a.k.a. Superwoman. Um, totally awesome. And she said, listen, Tia said, look, I'm trying to work on my digital content. So what better way than to bring my crush in? I love her. She's amazing. She's bringing in that money. And they had a great session. Watch that video. It's on my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Sister Sense, or check out Lily or check out Tia's show. The, the, the idea here is if you want to get in front of more people, you better create a show. <laughs> <laughs> you better show up, show out, and make sure that the world knows who you are because you never know. You can have two followers today and then 10 followers tomorrow. You never know. So let me ask you guys, who has a show? If you have a show, drop it into the comment box. Let me know where it is. Let me know it's for the podcast because I see Misty says podcasts are wonderful too. Absolutely. If you've got a podcast, if you have a Facebook series, if you've got a YouTube series, if you got... If you got a show, let us know. Drop it into the comment box. As you can see, I am jumping on here to share as part of my fire, 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 fire free web class series. That's what I do. What do you do? Share that show here. Now, if you do not have one, this is something that I'm trying to share with you today. Five things that you can do to grow your business in one way. Either jump on a live today. And I'm going to talk about a live that you can do in just a second. Jump on a live or come up with a series that you can create to really bring in that great, that great experience that you want people to have. Now, as part of my Spring Into Action virtual workshop, one of the things I talked about this year was creating what I like to call short shows. And I went through so many amazing, great examples of short shows. I'm not going to go through that here because you should have got the replays. <laughs> you should have got the replays. Um, can you still get the replays? I know I took them down off of WWC. Go, you can go to scissorsense.com for it's ask spring and see if they're still there. Honestly, I don't think they're there because I think I took them down. I was supposed to take them down. Old woman brain. Did you take them down? <laughs> I don't know. But we talked about some smart things you can do to make more money, magnify your marketing, and supercharge your sales. One of the supercharge your sales strategies was short shows. Uh, definitely a great way to get in front of people. So if the replay is still on that page, this is sense.com forward slash spring, great. If it's not there, it's gone because I was supposed to take it down a few days ago. So hopefully my old lady brain did what it was supposed to do. <laughs> All right. So I think I shared five with you. Um, I don't know. I've missed numbers here or there. Um, but I do want to share an activity that you guys can try. OK, um, let me do a quick recap and then I'll share the last thing, which is an activity that you can share to grow your business in some way today. All right. So thank you guys for watching me live. Feel free to share this out. Number one. Number two. Feel free to tag somebody who needs to hear this. Turn on notifications and alerts so that you are like, yay, Lasada's doing a live, yay. Turn on those notifications, okay? <laughs> if you would like to be alerted when I do these. Now, um, just to quickly recap, we've been talking about a couple of things. Number one, get your ASK, get your ask in gear. Specifically, ask the question today. Are you still interested in dot, 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 okay? So think about an offer that you've put out to your audience. You want to make sure that you can work on sales. Be proactive in not dropping the ball. Be proactive in being persistent and coming out and sharing that it's still available to your audience. Complete the sentence. Turn it into a question. Are you still interested in dot, dot, dot? Okay, that was number one. Number two, I said I need you to think about the RRP 
and share one of those, right? Share a result, give people example of results that you've been creating and producing for customers and clients in your business. Give them a review, right? So that you can share, here's a review of me or here's a review of a product or offer or service that I really think you should try. Especially if you're somebody like myself, I talk about money marketing and sales. So I share a lot of money marketing and sales tools, talking about and reviewing products that people are looking for information around, that's gonna help get a try get traffic back to me. So how can you use that strategy? And of course, proof, giving people examples of proof of people buying and trying your stuff, right? Who's signing up? How are they loving it? Results, reviews, proof. I said to you, I dig in, I dug into reviews more, um, being more proactive about asking people to review you. If you've got a Facebook fan page, asking them to post reviews on your Facebook fan page. By the way, post a review on my Facebook fan page. Hello. <laughs> Right, I dug into reviews a little bit more as well, um, so we could talk about that more. Um, and then that was number, well, number four was to give, 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 right? Always have something good to give. So I said, give some good, good today. Some of you guys have some free, awesome lead magnets and you're not doing anything about with it. You're not talking about it and it's sitting there collecting duff, sheer duff. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to say dust, and somehow the TH went on the end of that. Collecting dust, right? Share one great, awesome freebie today. Vocalize it, verbalize it, you know, textualize it. Do something you need to do to, to share that with your audience. So I said to you, if you like my weekly web class series, make sure that you go to scissorsense.com forward slash WWC, right? W. WC for weekly web class so that you can sign up and get alerts when I do these awesome good good sessions for you guys, right? That's a good good that I have. What's a good good that you have? Share one of your good goods that you want your folks to grab. Then I said, listen, I need y'all to get the ball rolling. Get it rolling. Get it rolling. What are some things that are sitting there that you need to start moving forward with so you can start to grow and see results, right? So I mentioned to you that I've been working on quite a few different brand offers, um, and a lot of them are coming from one of my favorite companies, Sticker Mule, right? Sticker Mule. Um, and some here is the new magnets. Thanks to my girl Rhonda for designing these beautiful images of me and Pren. Uh, that's a little bit hard to see, so let me do this. All right, bam. So that's that, and then also having the stickers done as well. These things take time to produce and ship and get to you, so get the ball rolling so you guys are not going, oh, my God, there's an event happening tomorrow, and I'm not ready. Get ready, right? And then I said to you, I want you to get in front of more people. How can you do that? Whether it's creating a short show, jumping on a live stream, being more consistent about things that you're putting out there. I'm actually going to be boosting a couple of lives this weekend, right? To share myself and to attract. There's There, there are different ways that you can do boosts on Facebook. You can do a boost where um, you're sharing it with the people who've liked the page. You can share it with the people plus their friends and their family, which is pretty awesome because that's an extended circle. How can you get in front of more people? That was one of the last things that I was saying today. So that was kind of like a, a quick rundown recap of some of the things that I've been talking about. Um, and here's, so here's the last thing that I'm going to do, right? So I said, I wanted to share some good, good with you this good Friday. Here's what I want you to do. Number one, this morning, before I jumped on the live, I said, listen, good morning. It's good Friday. What I want you to do is I want you to share five great things about today. Hashtag five great things, right? Um, I posted that on Instagram and I posted that here on my Facebook page as well. And I want you to think about that. You can share one good thing. Just leave me a comment. What's one good thing about today, right? Bless God, I'm gonna be real with you. I think it was like a week or two, two ago, I was driving my kid to school and I was like, wait a minute, he's gonna be 13. He's gonna be 13. I have a 13 year old. Um, I called him this morning because he was on the way to school. I called him this morning and I said, did you eat your breakfast? And he was like, yeah, I ate my breakfast. <laughs> I was like, who is this man on the phone? <laughs> you don't even sound like my baby anymore. Put my baby back on the phone. Put my baby back on the phone, right? I'm so glad and grateful and feeling truly blessed to be in a space where he's alive 
we've made it thus far and hopefully we make it even further. That was That's one really great thing about my day today. Uh, feel free to share one great thing, but of course, um, I do have the five great things post here on Facebook as well as on my Instagram page at Suzanne's. Join me today, this beautiful Good Friday, and sharing five great things about today, which just, to me, yeah, there's a lot of things that we are going through as adults that we're adulting around and stressing about, but it's great to be grateful. Isn't it, God? Thank you, Jesus. It's great to be grateful. So I want you to do that. One, number one. Number two, what I want to encourage you to do is I challenge you. I challenge you to share five great things today based on your industry. So I did it, right? I jumped on here and I said, you know what? I'm going to share five great ways that you can grow your business today based on things that I've done with respect to money, marketing, and sales as an online entrepreneur, as the creator of Sister Sense, right? This community that I've created to build for you guys, okay? Now, what I challenge you to do is to come up with a list of five great things that you can share with your audience, okay? So if you're into self-care, right? I'm just talking about self-care. Five great ways you can really participate in self-care today or this week or this weekend, right? I want you to identify five, five. <laughs> and then make sure that you hashtag it, five great things, okay? Because that's me challenging you, right? So I love to talk about money. I love to talk about marketing. I love to talk about sales. So growing your business, to me, this was just a great conversation. Schedule, depending, right? If I got some time, maybe I may do another five great things and jump on here today. I cannot promise, but maybe, maybe I might, right? So maybe you can give me some, you know, like ideas. If you go, Lashana, can you share five great ways or five great things for dot, dot, dot? Maybe if you could come up with an idea, I might consider it. So feel free to drop a five great things recommendation that you would like me to come up with something and share around, uh, feel free to drop that into the comment box. But really and truly, I want to challenge you to come up with five great ways, five great things based on your industry, your interest, your offers that you can share with your audience. So let me see here. Um, e. Michelle says, my one great thing is the goodness of God. Amen. The sacrifice of Jesus Christ for me to have eternal life. It's always, always important to really sit and reflect on the fact that we are breathing. We have spirit. We have life. We have this, right? We have this not because of ourselves, but because of the higher power that has created it for us, that has created us and allowed us to be on this amazing planet. I mean, there's just so many good things to be grateful and inspired by and excited about. And I kind of wanted to bring in that good vibe, good energy this Good Friday. So I appreciate you for sharing that with us right? Um, Faye says, let me call mine. He is adulting. <laughs> so I call my little one today. You want to call yours too. Good, right? Maybe this is an opportunity for you to say, listen, God is so great. My mama's still here. My father's still here. My hubby's still here. My children are still here. Let me just call them this morning and say, bless God. Bless God. It's so good to have you in my life. You drive me crazy, but it's so good to <laughs> good to have you in my life. Uh, one of my very close, nearest and dearest old friends, he checked in with me um, from college and he said, you know what? I'm here walking in Central Park and I'm just thinking about you and I just wanted to talk to you right now. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I missed the call, but I'm so glad I'm grateful that I heard your voice. <laughs> so hopefully we get to talk right now. We're, we're playing phone tag, but I just kind of sat in that moment, that moment of wow, somebody's thinking about me right now. Somebody wants to just kind of check in and say, let me hear your voice. Let me see how you're doing. Let me see how the boys are doing. That's just a beautiful thing, right? So embrace that and share that love with as many people as you can. I encourage you to do that some today. And again, I want to make sure that you guys are thinking about one way you can share five great things today. So drop that into the comment box because I would love to see uh, what you come up with, what you come up with. Misty says, suggestion, five great ways to get your sisters to share your business. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay, come on now. I need, I need... I need the um, 
I want to screenshot that, but I can't. <laughs> okay, let me take let me take it off the tripod and put it back in the case. Wait, 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 wait. So Misty, you want me to do that? Or are you doing that? <laughs> I think it I think it said suggestion. So I'm assuming that you want me to share five great ways to get your sisters to support you. I mean, I'm all about the sister circle. So let me know if that's what you want me to do. Absolutely. I so agree. There is nothing like the power of reflection, being in that space. Sometimes you got you to gotta take a knee. You got to pause. You got to stop moving so that you can reflect on where you are. That's a great one, guys. Feel free to share any other suggestions as far as things that you want me to talk about. But really, re really and truly, I want you to think about what you can do today. Share five great things today that you know that you can share with your audience, okay? So Faith says, and I'm so lost here. Faith says, business, personal, or business, business? <laughs> oh my gosh. Y'all always have me. Okay, all, all of that. <laughs> So, e. Michelle is like all of it, all of it, business, personal, and business, business. How do you get them to share? Um, I have mine. I have mine five around stress reduction that I am going to do. Okay, so you're going to do five great things you can do around stress reduction. I like that. Uh, and you want me to share five great ways to get your sisters to share your business. This is going to be a good one. This is this is going to be an interesting one. How do you do that? How do you get people to share your stuff? I got to come up with some out of the box stuff. Because of course, you know, the easy way is just to simply say, share my stuff, <laughs> right? <laughs> share my stuff. Come on now. Um, but five great ways to do that. All right. So five great ways. Five great ways to get the sisters to share your stuff. I'm loving it, I'm loving it. What else are you guys going to do or would you like me to do? Feel free to drop those into the comment box. Um, Mozzie, am I pronouncing that right? Mozzie or is it Maisie? Hopefully I pronounce it right, my apologies. Did I do it right the first time or the last time or did I do it completely wrong? <laughs> you were like, you did it wrong both times. <laughs> Um, I will do five ways to tell your story. I love it. That's beautiful. I mean, so many people are looking to put themselves out there, but they don't know how to share their story, right? Five ways to share your story. LaVon says, five great things to tell yourself each day. I love I love it. I love it. LaVon is all about affirmations and good vibrations. So I love it. Five great things to tell yourself each day. Yup, the first time. The first time. Man, okay. So I, I don't even remember if I said Maisie or Mozzie first, because that's the old woman brain that I have. But I, I got it right once, so I'm going to just leave it alone. <laughs> and trust me, I know, because people be putting R's, Lashandra, Lasanda. So I get it, you know. I get it, you know. I get it. <laughs> So, all righty, my dears, I am jumping off. I'm super, super excited to jump back on here at some point and potentially share another list of five things. I think I'm going to have to do that five things that Misty gave me. Um, but I encourage you to do this too. Uh, make sure that you participate in the five great things about today. I want you to share as part of that. Um, I have it both on my Facebook page and my Instagram page. Look for the post with me going... <laughs> And you see that picture, it says share five things. So participate in that post. I want you to do your own five things. If you do it, make sure you come back here and say, listen, I did it. Yes, because I want other people to maintain momentum and I want them to get fired off, up based on 
what you're doing, right? I want you to inspire other people to move and take action. So make sure you guys come back here and say, I did it, okay? Uh, and final, final call, last call reminder. Like I mentioned before, um, I am going to be doing the best seller boot camp. We are going to be doing the first cycle, cycle number one, yes, of the best seller boot camp. It starts in less than 10 days. Can you believe it? We are rocking and rolling. We are getting that ball moving. Uh, if you would like to create some products with me, Sizzle Sense Style, I'm going to be sharing some smart products you guys can create, digital products, physical products, and also service packages too, from the high price point to the low price point, everything in between. Not just talking about how you can do it, but I want to support you to get the job done creating starting and finishing those offers we're going to be working on that your next best sellers as part of the best seller boot camp that is a big thing so we're going to talk about your products and services we're going to talk about smart simple sales strategies you can utilize and as well as that smart passive income so different things that you can do to bring in some smart passive passive income too yesterday i was just kind of sitting and watching netflix and then i got a paypal ping of 65 dollars, and i was like oh okay that's nice <laughs> I'm a web designer and my hosting company, I'm affiliated with them. So when I tell people, hey, you know, if you need hosting, you can feel free to sign up through me. Every time somebody signs up, that's $65 for me, right? Um, and I love that. I love not only being able to get that extra passive income, but number two, I love to create those opportunities for you. So for the bestseller bootcamp, the commission when you share the bestseller bootcamp is actually $65. So anybody signs up through you, you get 10 people to register for the bestseller bootcamp. Are you kidding me? That's $650 for you. And registration for the DIY level isn't even that. So literally you're like getting back your money and then some. So, um, you know, thinking about for yourself again, if you want to work on smart passive income, simple sales strategies, and creating some amazing good, good offers over the course of 90 days with me, then definitely register for the bestseller bootcamp. Early registration ends today. Today's the last day, it expires today because opportunities expire. Uh, so make sure that you go to sisters.com forward slash BSBC. And if somebody can drop that into the comment box for me, it would be awesome. Uh, what's the link to your template? So it's sisters.com forward slash BSBC, Faye. When you go there, that's going to give you the opportunity to do a couple of things. Uh, register for the bestseller bootcamp, number one. Uh, number two, you're going to get my big boss up template bundle and i'm talking about this bundle is 500 dollars. it's got the book templates in there the workbook templates the worksheet template and the soon to be released journal template which is amazing we had so much time digging into that this weekend um the easy ebook template that's what we did this weekend the journal template is coming as part of the bestseller boot camp so um all my templates are inside that as a bonus to the boot camp, and you can learn more about it over at sisterdance.com forward slash BSBC. You've got just a few more days to register, number one, but number two, today is the last day to get the 40% off early registration, okay? Um, if that's what you were looking for, great, BSBC. Thank you, Misty. I think I think there was a little error with spell check because <laughs> it says B-R-A-C. Um, I think your 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 auto correct kind of messed that one up, but I do appreciate you for dropping that into the comment box for me. It's sisterscents.com forward slash BSBC for best seller boot camp. Now, if you're looking for another kind of template, Faye, that I've not talked about today, feel free to email it to me. But the big bundle of book templates and the journal template and all of these awesome templates, the social media graphics templates. All of those are going to be available to you guys as part of the Best Little Boot Camp. You actually get instant access to a ton of templates as soon as you register. And then I'll be rolling out the next ones when we start the first cycle on the first of next month. Yes, thank you for that, Misty. BSBC stands for Best Seller Boot Camp. So, all right, y'all. I love you. I appreciate you. I am so, 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 so excited to have you guys in my circle. And hopefully, I can get some time today to jump on and share some more good, good with you guys for Good Friday. But until then, keep on keeping on. Email sisterscents at gmail.com if you have any questions. When you're on the sisterscents.com website, click the gray tab on the right to send me a voice message and do what you need to do <laughs> to just keep being you. That's it. Do what you need to do to keep being you. All right. Officially done. Take care, y'all.